What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is I, Randy with RTS Mobile Gaming, bringing you another fantastic video today. We are playing Sea of Conquest, and we're going to get right to the point. This video is going to talk about the theory for the Blazing build. As you know, a few days ago, I published a Stormbringer build uh, on YouTube. The build was a Blazing Fire Damage build. Uh, I have since received the Adeline Hero. She uh, became available in Season 2. She is slightly better than Ned, even though she is drowning. She's going to be a little bit higher damage than Ned. By a little bit, I mean like three times as high damage as Ned. So it's a good trade-off for me, even though I'm losing uh, two burning stacks every ultimate from Ned's ultimate. She makes up for it. Uh, and essentially, what we're going to do in this video is show you how blazing damage ramps up. Now, ever since I released that Stormbringer video saying that Blazing is my uh, one of my favorite damage dealers, I have received a lot of mail telling me that I'm wrong and Blazing is not the best damage dealer. I am here to show you, I can show you a hundred reports. I'm just going to show you a report from a few hours ago. This is me against six or seven other ships, okay? One of the other ships is another level 31 uh, ship. Okay, I'm 31, he's 31. Um, this is Peter from the Inc. group, who we just left. By the way, newsflash, we just left Inc. and joined SVN, okay? Me and the SVN boys, we're back. Um, but in this report, the overall, the total damage dealt for me in the entire report, 33 million blazing, burning, fire, death, and destruction. A little bit less, because really some of that is drowning, okay? A little bit under 7 million of that is drowning. But Tanaka has almost 14 million damage output. Lester has almost 10 million damage output, so the damage you can do here is absolutely insane as it ramps up. Now, blazing damage does not do the most damage in the first 20-30 seconds of the fight. That hat goes to strategy or maybe artillery, uh, but blazing damage after 20 or 30 seconds into a fight, okay, is gonna be an absolute monster. So, I'm gonna show you that. Today I have my buddy Rubicon from the war gang over at 286 i'm in 270 uh, 279 and we're gonna go ahead and uh and punch him right in the face he's gonna be on youtube he's telling me in chat he doesn't want to be <laughs> he wants to stay out of the spotlight not today baby here we go let's check it out okay once you see the damage as it ramps up it's gonna start real slow okay it's gonna start real slow you're not gonna see big chunks starting to come off here until i get burning stacks on his ships and now we have the first couple sets of burning stacks. I would say with this next ultimate, you should see the damage really chunking. Oh my god, look at the damage. It is just chunking him away. My Stormbringer by itself with the Blazing Dill is going to take out Rubicon with war. This ship does crazy damage. Look at that, man. That is absolutely out of this world. We're going to go through this report. We'll talk about the actual build. If you've seen my Stormbringer build video, you already know the build. Uh, the only difference is I now have Adeline on here. So, <laughs> look at this report, man. I just pumped out six and a half million damage in under a minute. It is ungodly, okay? And in this shorter fight, because Adeline does a lot of uh, burst damage with her ultimate that isn't necessarily damage over time, she is going to be weighted a little bit heavier because, like I said, Tanaka and Lester take a few seconds to get warmed up. But you can see here the blazing damage came out like a bull in a china shop and just absolutely massacred poor Rubicon. You saw it start nice and slow, and then as I got my burning stacks on all of his ships, you saw it, choo, 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 and then it was over. Okay, so that's how the burning build works. It does not start strong, but it sure ends strong, okay? So as far as the actual build, if you haven't seen my other video, I'll give you a 30-second overview of this. Stormbringer is great because it gives a lot of great rage if uh, the enemy's ship is suffering from damage over time, burning or taking on water, okay? The ship itself gives a ton of damage over time, uh, well, burning or taking, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it gives a ton of damage over time duration, it gives a ton of damage over time bonuses, okay? It gives uh, bonuses to straight blazing and drowning, which also affects damage over time. You combine that with Tanaka's ability to generate in his number two ability you can get with just summoning him one time, his ability to generate 30% damage over time bonus for his ship, okay? You have Lester, who happens to have an incredible amount of damage over time bonus for his ship. What skill is it? It's this skill. This stacks three times. So now you're looking at 45, 50% bonus damage for damage over time just between these couple heroes, 
Okay, you've got trinkets mixed in here. Uh, Adeline, like I said, she kind of hits like a Mack truck. I think she gives a little bit of DOT. Not a lot, but she gives a little bit more damage over time. And basically what I'm getting at is the damage over time on this build, once you have your eight to 10 stacks of blazing ticking on the enemy fleet is gonna be invaluable. Okay, so that's the video guys. That's how the build works. It does not start off strong. If you are in these short little 10 second encounters, uh, it's not gonna be the best damage dealer. But over a long fight, over a five or six ship fight, over a two minute fight, over whatever it is, as the damage mounts, it is gonna be unbeatable. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Big shout out to Rubicon for assisting me with that PvP. Randy out.